It's been six months since I joined the gym and still no progress. I'm going there in person tomorrow to see what's really going on. <laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A lot of you might already know a new version of the Fire TV stick has been released and I'm going to show you what it is quickly now but also something to look out for. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if I jump over to the AFTV News website, as you can see, this is a comparison table of specs of the 2024 Fire TV Stick HD compared to the Fire TV Stick 3rd Gen and Fire Stick Lite. But as you can see straight away, the new Fire Stick HD, it comes with a new style remote. And I think that's going to be the only difference. So we'll take a quick look at the comparisons in a second, but we can see Amazon just released a 2024 Fire TV Stick HD as a replacement for the Fire TV Stick Lite and 3rd Gen Fire TV Stick. Now, this is one reason I think this is a good idea from Amazon, and I'll explain why in just a moment. But those devices were released in 2020. While a new Fire Stick model usually means all new hardware and specs, that's not the case this time since the streaming stick included with the Fire TV Stick HD is actually the same that shipped as the Fire TV Stick Lite. So that's something you've got to look out for. If you were buying this Fire Stick HD thinking it's an upgrade from a Fire Stick Lite, it's actually not. The only thing that's going to be upgraded is the remote. The specs are going to be exactly the same. What has changed is the included remote and the price. The new Fire TV Stick HD bundle is meant to eventually simplify the Fire TV lineup by providing a single entry level 1080p model. However, Amazon will continue to sell the Fire TV Stick Lite and 3rd Gen Fire TV Stick until supplies run out. So for the time being, there's three entry level devices. And this explains why the Fire TV Stick 3rd Gen was so cheap on Prime Day. We saw it drop to £17, which was cheaper than the Fire Stick light and this explains it they're just trying to sell them off because this device is being discontinued but these are the comparisons here and you're gonna see they're pretty much the same devices you can see they've got the same cpu the same ram so one gigabyte of ram eight gigabyte of internal storage the new fire stick also runs fire os 7 like the same as the fire stick light and third gen the fire stick hd is obviously only 1080p 60 fps so it's not 4k a difference you can see as well from the fire stick third gen to this hd with a third gen fire stick you got dolby digital Digital Plus and Dolby Atmos, you don't get that with the Fire Stick HD. But as we can see here, you do get the new style remote, and then you can see some prices at the bottom here. So if I click on the Fire TV Stick Lite, these are the options I get. What you can see now is you've got the Fire TV Stick HD, the Fire TV Stick 4K, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, and the Fire TV Cube. So the Fire TV Stick Lite and 3rd Gen have been removed and this is a good thing in my opinion. The reason being, it were getting a bit cluttered that there were four different Fire Stick versions and the bottom two, so the Lite and the 3rd Gen, were pretty much the same devices. So I do like that they've just made one device, so it makes it easier to see which device suits you better. But yeah, I did see from a few reviews that People buying the Fire TV Stick HD were thinking it was an upgrade from the Fire TV Stick Lite, which it's not. And like I say, the only thing that's different about it really is the remote and the style of it. So is it disappointing that they've brought out a new device? It's still got micro USB, it's not USB-C yet, which... I'm guessing a lot of people would expect to see that. Or is it a good thing that they've now got less devices to choose from, so you're not sat there thinking, oh, which one do I get? And something else as well, a new Fire Stick that's being released, can you still sideload apps to it? The answer is yes, it's still running Fire OS. Now, there were talks of this new Vega OS that was coming that might have hindered us from sideloading, but that's not the case. It's still running like every other Fire Stick we've owned. But yeah, just a heads up, you're buying a new Fire Stick, make sure to look out for that. The new one is only 1080p, it's not 4K, and it's pretty much a Fire Stick Lite. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. And quickly as well, if you're looking for a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below. IP Vanish, it's one I've used for a very long time, unlimited devices, 
But if you want to support the channel as well, this is a good way. If you get IP Vanish, I get a bit of a commission. Not going to be a millionaire, but every little helps. And if you use my links, I want to say thank you very much. Right, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tere!